Hi folks, my name is Lawrence Lewis. Welcome to this session today from One Feather, redefining the Indigenous digital experience through innovation and tradition. One Feather is an Indigenous technology company based out of Victoria, BC. I'm going to show you a couple of uh, videos uh, about our services and what we're doing and how we're redefining this space. So let's get into it. Thanks again for coming by. At its heart, One Feather is intended to be a tool that has real value that nations, First Nations and Indigenous people can use on a daily basis. And the intent here is to create Indigenous um, specifically designed digital solutions that drive the cost down of all the administrative pain points uh, that leadership has in doing business with its Indigenous members uh, and everything from communication to um, distribution of resources and of course decision making through electronic voting. At the core of One Feather's purpose has always been that mission from Lawrence of empowering First Nations and their members in Canada. For a long time it was we're building nation building technology that was our mission statement and we've moved into more of this holistic it's not just nations it's the people that make up those nations and it's them interacting in their day-to-day -day life that those that that greater purpose really has driven us to get to the point where we're at some of the values that, that one feather brings is uh, reliability and trustworthiness we offer a level of professionalism in electoral officer services that I don't think is provided by any other company in the country. And we're staffed by Indigenous people as well. How do we redefine our business model and that whole corporate experience through that Indigenous lens? What can we do to leave more on the table? What can we do to disrupt all those things that continue to oppress, isolate, or otherwise cause harm or trauma to Indigenous folks? In 2014, we conducted our first electronic vote on a land code vote with the uh, Malahat First Nation, which was tremendously successful. Um, and if we flash forward, we have over 180 First Nations using our platform, including electronic voting, everything from chief and council elections to ratification votes to land code votes to um, major settlement votes with Canada, oftentimes in the hundreds of millions of dollars. I think that One Feather is really setting the standard for how Indigenous elections can be operated in Canada. Um, our procedures and uh, best practices are over and above what is prescribed by Canada. And um, we think of the Indian Act, the First Nations Elections Act, and the First Nations Elections Codes as being a baseline. And we always attempt to go over and above uh, that process to deliver the best possible election we can. We often talk about data sovereignty, and that's where the Indigenous person owns the rights and, and has the tools to protect their Indigenous identity in a digital space. The end mission for One Feather is to create a single portal for Indigenous, Métis, and uh, Inuit folks in Canada to be able to log in and access any of the rights and privileges that they are entitled to. Building the One Feather app is just that next step of, of creating that Indigenous sovereign identity that is immutable, that can't be challenged, that's locked in. So let's create that true center, that identity through the application. And so every interface, every action, whether you're using it for voting, your member registrar, communicating with your nation, using the um, financial toolkits we put in there, every one of those transactions reinforces your identity, confirms who you are. And so when it comes time to renew your status card, you don't need to go through the application process. You just push a button, renew status card. All the data that Canada requires to renew that status card is sent digitally, including a current photo. Uh, and that status card renewal just happens. You don't need to go through these processes of filling out paperwork every time you want to confirm who you are. The real wealth of an individual is measured by what they give away not by what they keep. And so let's let's continue to really focus in on that. And, and from a traditional perspective, how are we leaving more on the table for Indigenous communities?
So actually, here's an update from uh, the time we produced this video, which was back in the fall. We currently now work with over 210 First Nations across the Canada. We have over a quarter of a million Indigenous <coughs> and Métis folks within our registrar that we are staging to unlock with our upcoming uh, digital banking services uh, and uh, dedicated uh, banking solutions for First, our First Nations clients across the country. In 2020, we had over 40,000 electronic ballots cast. Uh, which is a, a substantive increase from 2019. And in 2018, uh, till now, uh, we've unlocked almost $2 billion in settlement votes with Canada. All of those resources moving from Canada through to First Nations to, to their members. And the annual kind of, if you like, transfer payments of, of dollars uh, from Canada to First Nations through to their members is somewhere in the neighborhood of $20 billion a year. That's the market that we really want to unlock. Uh, and level the playing field for, for First Nations in the country. And so to take all those barriers, whether they're by design or accident that uh, systematically or systemically uh, remove Indigenous folks from participating in that economic framework. And so we're really excited uh, this month to launch our One Feather app and pay card solutions, custom branded for Indigenous folks uh, to use uh, and a, a truly digital uh, banking interface. So Indigenous folks don't ever have to set foot in a bank to create their digital bank account, open up a bank account, uh, and uh, get their uh, banking card. Uh, we do all of this through our True Center, through our back end, where we verify and authenticate somebody's uh, Indigenous person's identity using their status card, uh, and that confirmation with the First Nation, and then in our partnerships with BlockPal and Berkeley Pay Solutions, um, create a, a banking solution and issue them um, this bank card. Here's another short video on learning a bit more about what that looks and feels like. Mom made sure I took three things with me. The eagle feather grandmother made, some preserves, and one feather out. It's really simple to renew status cards with one feather. Save her money, my time. My post secondary living allowance was deposited into my one feather account. Chief Dan even wished me good luck. upcoming election. My One Feather rewards are amazing. I earn points in so many ways beyond just transactions, and they're transferable. Now she can get that travel when she wants. So One Feather uh, is really fortunate to be doing the work that it's doing, working with Indigenous peoples and communities across the country. And, 
and our efforts here are really to kind of redefine that space by, you know, again, as I've indicated previously, by redesigning all those interfaces that either by design or by accident um, continue to be challenges for Indigenous folks to participate um, in our in our economies and in our within our nation, uh, and um, uh, and be a uh, you know a truly um, vibrant and um, uh, amazing um, place in the country. First Nations are uh, doing incredible work, uh, lifting their people up, um, and are you know investing heavily in uh, in the future. And we're so happy to be working with over 200 nations uh, across the, uh, the country, uh, utilizing our services. Um, our newest services are very exciting. We also provide, you know, like as indicated in the video, the online status card renewal um, and dedicated banking solutions. And we continue to kind of roll those out this month uh, with our quarter of a million subscribers um, and start to uh, really uh, move in that space. If this is something that you're interested in learning more about or having a more deeper conversation with me about, uh, either just as an interest sake or as an investor or even just learning more about what we're doing and why we're doing it, you know, don't hesitate to reach out to me and connect with me and my contact information here will be on the last couple of screens. Uh, and I'm just going to close with one last video and um, like I said, reach out and I'm happy to take questions and participate in the chat that's happening. Uh, and I'm going to fast forward this just a little bit to get us uh, up here. Let's see if I can get this up here a little ways. So you environment can this reconciliation this kind of, must continue, and together we can and will create a better future. TD congratulates One Feather Technologies for its outstanding business achievement in the category of 11 Plus Enterprise Indigenous Business Award. At its heart, One Feather is intended to be a tool that has real value that nations, First Nations and Indigenous people can use on a daily basis. And the intent here is to create Indigenous um, specifically designed digital solutions that drive the cost down of all the administrative pain points that leadership has in doing business with its Indigenous members and everything from communication to distribution of resources and of course decision making through electronic voting. You know, first and foremost, we are a service provider to Indigenous communities and so um, you know, our past business practice pre-COVID was to spend a lot of time uh, being in communities and nurturing and building those relationships and distilling an awareness around our technology and how it can be used to, you know, help lift up community members, um, put uh, money back in people's pockets, right? Like really reduce the transactional cost, if you like, from doing a lot of the work that Indigenous communities have to undertake. Um, and provide an alternative solution that removes, uh, you know, the barriers to participation. One of our primary purposes is to, is to do away with that and leave the treasure in community. So that's really what our technology is designed to do, you know, is to leave that wealth in communities and drive down the transactional nature of those interfaces, whether it's a banking solution, whether it's voting in a community event, member registrar management, community engagement, all those kinds of things. Like the technologies exist today to remove all those barriers. One Feather is in a unique position for a company because First Nations have to vote. They have to elect their leadership. So our work has continued. Uh, we are essentially Indigenous, if you will. We have had to continue to run elections and we've kind of actually broadened our capacity and ability to reach more First Nations than we even did before. So when we look at developing these technologies through that Indigenous lens, let's make sure that the first and foremost, it lifts our people up, it looks after our people, and it creates a sense of community that unites us and doesn't you know, tear us apart. Let's make sure that what we do actually reinforces and builds our sovereignty as Indigenous folks. We've been very excited to be able to provide some of the enabling capital that, that One Feather uh, was looking for to really help to, to bridge the, the digital gap for Indigenous people in terms of, of having access to, to uh, you know, financial services. I'm just so fortunate to have a really solid group of folks that I love and adore and who um, bleed and sweat and cry over this stuff every day and give 120%. I think the, the number one impact that one other has is that we're able to allow communities to run their voting events securely and for less less money than they would have previously, with more engagement from their membership, which I think that's a that's a really speaks to the that really speaks to the 
core value proposition of what we're doing. So that like, this is a better result and it costs less at the, at the end of the day. You know, building a business um, and holding it true to its values and its principles, uh, and at the same time, making money so you can pay the bills, um, building a team um, that understands the vision and the purpose of what you're doing and why you're doing it. It takes time. All of these things take time and tremendous energy. Working for an indigenous tech company is kind of a new concept. So receiving an award like this, receiving this kind of acknowledgement is hopefully going to inspire other communities and other indigenous companies to sprout up. That acknowledgement for Lawrence as our CEO and one other of the company means a lot to us. For Raven Capital, this, this award is not a surprise. Um, it's the same reasons that we saw this as a really exciting opportunity to invest in, in a company that is uh, has, has best practices in the context of the, the culture of the organization internally, has best practices in the context of the impact that, that it's uh, you know pursuing uh, for Indigenous people, the kind of relationships and reputation uh, that that One Feather has built. Um, are those are all the things that that attracted uh, our firm as an investor uh, to come in and really want to be part of the journey uh, together with one feather and, and, and be on this this growth trajectory. As indigenous people, we we are very um, aware and understand and appreciate that um, how we live today is very different than how we lived uh, 100 years ago, 50 years ago, even 20 years ago. And we're often the first to embrace these kind of changes uh, and do so in a way that is, um, uh, you know, allows us to live better, healthier, more um, successful lives. Again, thanks for stopping by today. Happy to connect with you at any point in time if you want to learn more about One Feather. And I uh, really do appreciate you uh, listening to our story and learning more about us. Look forward to having an uh, ongoing conversation with you. Gaila Kislo, all the very best.